I've been using power pole connectors on my RC planes for many, many years. In fact, I was using them before a lot of people had uh, considered using them. I know they're very popular with ham radio operators, but they work really well for me uh, for RC planes, especially 5S and down batteries. So in this episode, I wanted to show you a product from where I get all of my power pole connectors, powerworks.com. They have a 300 plus piece assorted power pole connector kit that I'm going to unbox and show you everything that comes with it. I'm going to go through a quick demo on how to actually crimp these and give you some scenarios when you can use uh, where it might make sense to use some different colored connectors. So if you're interested in power poles, stay tuned and check out the rest of the video. Thanks. So here is the box as it comes right in the mail from powerworks.com. We'll speed through some of the unboxing, but I urge you, if you're at all interested in power pole connectors, powerworks.com is the place to get all of your accessories and all of their shipments always come with a cool color catalog with some of their new power pole related gear. So never had a problem with this website and I fully uh, suggest checking them out. So the kit comes in one of these Plano-like plastic storage boxes that we've all used before. So being that it's wrapped in bubble wrap isn't that big of a deal, but you can tell they took the time to package it correctly. And here it is with all of the accessories inside. We have some red housings, black housings. We have the three sets of contacts, which we'll talk about later. We have some anti-roll pins. We have the tool, and then we have some uh, joining clips. And then here, what I'm holding now are some red and black housings already put together. And of course, you have some dividers we can use to further customize the case. And why would we do that? Well, because I went ahead and ordered some different colored housings. Now you might ask, why would you ever need different color housings? And I'm going to show you uh, at least one reason. And so while I'm organizing all of my extra equipment, I wanted to talk about the three sizes of contacts. So this kit comes with three contacts that all use the same plastic housings. Uh, so the smallest ones are the 15 amp contacts and they're recommended for 20 to 16 gauge wire. The middle size contacts are 30 amp and they're recommended for 14 to 12 gauge wire. And finally, the big contacts, which are actually opened, um, you'll see in a close up, they're open before they're crimped. Those are the 45 amp contacts recommended for 10 gauge wire. So as you use things, uh, you'll have different wire sizes, different size batteries, and you'll have to choose the right contact that will fit your wire. So what you see here is over the years of me using power poles, I've accumulated all these PowerWorks bags as I've made an order here and there. And uh, so now this is the perfect time to go ahead and organize all of my equipment, all of my power pole stock and put it in the, in the container. So the two other pieces I really didn't talk about are if you see those little black pieces of metal, those are anti-roll pins and they are used to go in between a red and a black to keep them together. I have never used them, um, but a lot of, they get mixed reviews. But right in the middle of the screen, there are these red plastic pieces with two pegs and those actually are to when you have two sets connected together, those pegs go in together to keep the housings connected. Uh, so really, really handy there. So here I wanted to show you sort of what these look like on a battery. Here is a Zippy 1000, a 2S 1000. This is something I use for receiver power, especially when I'm using high voltage servos. But if you see, there's grooves on the housings and they slide together so you can keep them together or pull them apart as such. So Usually you keep these together and you have the pattern uh, of your batteries and then the orientation on your ESC and they just click together. Here is a, when was the last time you saw a sky lipo that wasn't puffed? Man, this is a few years old, but I also use these on 6S packs. Now, to be fair, if I'm using a 12S system, I will probably use XT150s, but for planes that just use 6S, uh, I kind of like the power poles. So here are two 
3S2200s that I run in my right wing Hardcore 44, and I run that wing on 6S. And so these two batteries fit really well in the battery compartment, and here is why I like to use sometimes a different color power pole housing, because now I can make sure that the two connectors I'm going to use, this black one and the red one, for the series connection, that I'm never going to mess that up because we're going to match the purples together and now we have the negative for one, one battery and the positive from the other and we have a 6S2200 pack. And now in just a few seconds we can unhook everything and now we have two separate 3S2200s without the need of an adapter. So let's go ahead and I'll just show you how these things get crimped. You need some wire cutters, some wire strippers, and you need the power pole crimping tool, which I will have linked in the show notes. And of course you need your contacts and housings and everything else. So here's a brand new Rhino 3S2200 and let's get this thing connected up. So we'll go ahead and cut off the existing connector, but we will start with just one of the wires because we don't want uh, open end wires to actually touch because these are this is a live battery, so we'll start with, in this case, the positive wire first. Now these packs use 12 gauge wire, and 12 gauge is, is really funny because some 12 gauge is a little bit bigger than others, and I know that, that, sounds, that sounds like it doesn't make sense, but sometimes a 12 gauge wire is hard to get into the 12 gauge contacts, but you really just strip off the end, and you smooth out the wire, and you take the contact, in this case, the 30M contact, it's closed, so you have to fit the contact onto the wire, and I usually find rotating it while inserting it works well. And once that's on, you have to decide on your orientation and use the tool, and there's three slots in the tool, and since we're using the 30, the middle size contact, we're gonna use the middle hole on the tool, cramp down, and the tool auto uh, releases when you've applied enough force for the crimp and so you have nearly a perfect crimp every single time. So now it's crimped and we insert the contact into the housing with the lip facing down and now we have a fully functional power pole connection. So let's, we just did the red wire so let's go ahead and do the negative black wire. We'll get our housing and another 30 amp contact and for thicker 12 gauge wire the 45 amp contact works fine uh, and it might actually be easier than to getting uh, a thick 12 gauge wire into the the medium size contacts but here we just strip the end and we smooth it around get it nice and smooth rotate that connector the contact on there and again, these contacts, once they're crimped, obviously, they're not gonna rotate. So you have to think ahead and plan the orientation. And so I'm just going to quickly pretend that I have these uh, connected in series so I can align this last connector the way I want it so it sits in the right orientation. Again, 30 amp, on 30 amp contact into the middle hole on the tool. Crimp down on the tool, it auto-releases when it's done. And now we have a perfect contact and we align the housing, inserted it in, you'll hear a click and it's held in there with a spring and we're done. So I already did the other brand new Rhino and now we have two 3S2200s and with purple connectors that are lined up and you can see that I made it so they can connect, make that series connection. And now we have put together ready for the right wing hardcore 44, a 6S2200 pack ready to go. So guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed seeing a little demo and the 301 piece kit from powerworks.com. And hopefully, uh, you know, maybe you're a little bit more interested in using some power pole connectors, uh, as I've been for many years in the RC hobby. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks.